Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look at Bitcoin market as usual on Monday. So mostly in the previous week market has completed our long term target that we discussed. First it was most probable target around 1450 that we had on a weekly chart but also we said that in anticipation of the binary tree market could climb and try to complete the COP on the monthly chart so 1550 and that has happened. So. It was mostly friendly, supportive background uh, for any risky assets on the markets, stocks, uh, currencies, Bitcoin as well. And that led market to complete the start because everything uh, were going in on a positive view with the more stimulus ahead, with the more greater stake on the growth of the economy, which usually Democrats are following. In, in their economic domestic policy and that supports risky assets across the board and led market to complete the COP target. What could happen in the nearest time? First of all, by looking at the monthly chart on the Bitcoin, we could say that everything stands positive because we suggest, actually guys, in the, previous, in, in the two sessions in the weekend and the Saturday and the Sunday, we discussed the Forex market, we discussed the gold. And here and there, this was a topic on the stimulus. Our position that we will get stimulus not once, not twice, but much oftener. And uh, this stimulus will be provided through the year. Democrats uh, usually follows the strategy of the most stimulus. Uh, Fed, you know, Jerome Powell position also supports most stimulus. Now they have no confrontation. As you know, it was some problems in the uh, between the Trump Powell and Donald Trump. Well, currently, the situation is resolved, and now they're talking on the same language, and it will, will be more, it will be easier to do this. So, from that standpoint, we, th we suggest that long term perspective for the Bitcoin looks absolutely positive, and actually, we start to talk about it with a few months earlier in our fundamental reports when we see the sentiment on the market, when we see the, what big banks and hedge funds are doing currently. On the cryptocurrencies, and uh, here is absolutely no doubts that Bitcoin will continue our production. In a shorter term perspective, take a look, market hits significant target. Unfortunately, on the monthly chart, we can't use Jodnap as a later predictor to estimate the overbought level because it demands a greater number of candles to calculate it. Here, I do not have the access to the, the trend at the still later. That's why I use the momentum. It's mostly the same as the, the trend at the still later. And you can see what we have on the momentum. Momentum shows overbought. It also not normalized indicator. And if you do not have Jod Napoli pack, you could use momentum as the approximation of the overbought levels on ever sold. It works pretty nice. So currently, as you can see, momentum stands at the same level that it was right here in 2019 when the market has shown this spike. So it means that currently we could suggest that market is overbought on the rally, on the background of the elections rush. So currently, one mar one, once market has hit this target and creep into the overbought area, it needs some relief. And that should happen even by the fundamental background. So everybody tired from this endless noise in the mass media with the elections and other stuff. We are coming to the Thanksgiving and market needs to some relief, some rest before next leg of the upper trend will start. And from that standpoint, uh, if we will not get something really outstanding positive from the market, technical picture suggests the retracement, some respect to the COP target that has been reached. A potential retracement could be not, uh, should be not too significant because this is minor target. This is COP, just 618 extension. And let's take a look. It's broken 618 resistance, previous top. So it was taken out, the market could retest this broken top and show this minor pullback at least the 30%. That will be somewhere in an area around 13 even. That's nearest target that we could see on the monthly chart. 
that suggests from the monthly. On the weekly, you could see market stands near our body area, not quite our body, but still very close. OP target has been passed slightly, but most market stands inside the range of this OP, which is 1450. Market right now stands just $70, $700 above it. So we still could suggest that we're stand around the OP area. Right? And here, guys, take a look what's going on with the hash rate. Indicator shows the capitulation of the miners. And the previous every time when the market shows the even short term capitulation, market every time shows the pullbacks or flat action or something of that sort. Minor pullbacks, at least the 30% usually happens. Sometimes it becomes greater. This time again, capitulation has started, hash rate starts dropping. And it's all support idea with some at least minor pullback on the market. It means that currently at this point, if you have the long term view, maybe it's not cr crucial for you uh, buying Bitcoin right now if you have no problems with the retracement for pullback. Uh, but those of you who are actually trading and trying to catch the, to buy the dips, it would be better to wait and for, for the pullback and to make the new buy on the market. Next uh, moment on the weekly chart, what we have is take a look, we have the same ABCD passion and we could appoint the next target and this will be around 2170. It's XOP of the same ABCD passion. What is also interesting is that take a look, XOP stands barely above the previous tab. So it could be some washing rinses, lots of traps, stop grabbing or something of that sort. It's really very tricky moment will be when the market will hit the XOP. The existence of the XOP above the top suggests that this top hardly will hold. If market will just hit the XOP and turn down, this top will be taken out. So that's all the next target that we'll consider in the medium term perspective on the Bitcoin. Now let's go to the lower time frames and take a look how retracement could develop. So first of all, we are not interested with the levels that stands below the daily ever sold, which is actually 1350 approximately. Here we have only one single major level. It stands 1362, 1363, this is 30% support in this whole upper direction. Additionally, we have the good frosting upper direction, and here you could consider different patterns, maybe what could be formed. Maybe this will be double repo sell, maybe this will be brand by the buy, or something that's sort of perfectly, for example, if market will collapse, right, the 30% support for the brand by the buy background, and be able to take the long position with upper continuation. So it'll be very good. But we will see. This is just byproduct of the current situation, not the primary uh, pattern that we are watching for. But it could just explain how retracement will, show, will, will happen. What is important here on the daily chart is particularly the level, 1363 approximately, and daily ever sold. So that's a level that market could reach within maybe a few weeks on gradual downside action. On the intraday charts, uh, here on the full time frame charts, nothing interesting. I think that we should use a 30 minute chart by the few reasons. Uh, here's potentially how it could happen. Let's take a look. This is just a uh, appro approximate shape. Doesn't mean that it will happen definitely in this manner, but it's just how it could happen. So some ABCD retracement to the upside. Currently I just drawn here this at least triple to sell pattern. And market could form ABCD retracement if it will start right from this point. Why I'm using this level? Because take a look here, we have minor A, B, C bottom patterns. OP stands in agreement with the 618 level, 1535 30, uh, approximately. And if downside action will start precisely from this level, this larger ABCD has the target at 1360. That perfectly agrees with the daily FIB support. This could be agreement support right at the major 30% uh, level on the daily, and that will be good level to consider possible taking the long position. Alternatively, we could get greater ABCD action in case if market will form something like that. So it will be larger ABCD. In this case, we could get the greater, higher OP target around 1570 approximately. And in this case, this ABCD will be a bit different with a different destination point around 1390. But anyway, the overall suggestion, overall shape of the pattern, uh, idea, so you got the idea, so approximately the same. So keep watching, uh, because we have no intention currently to take the short position uh, on the Bitcoin market. Only if you're a scalp trader, you could consider some bearish patterns will be formed. 
For us, major purpose is to get the good level to take the long position. That's why the way how this retracement will start, it's not very important to us. Whether this will be with this ABCD or with higher ABCD, or so it will be just double repo sell with the new minor top on the daily chart. Anyway, if market will drop to the 30 and 60, that will be good. And that's the level that we intend to consider for taking the long position. All other patterns, it's just uh, well additional stuff for trading if you would like to. You, of course, could also take them in consideration. So let's see how it will turn on the coming week.